there, Simon, Simon Woods at Dotcom. I have a wine today called Shed 10, uh, made from uh, the Vodello grape. Slightly confusing when you read on the back. It says product of Australia, uh, but bottled in Spain. And uh, anyway, Shed 10 Vodello 2016. It doesn't say whereabouts it is uh, in Australia, um, but um, let's just give it a whirl. There's um, like an oily richness about it, almost lemon curd-like. A uh, little bit of uh, green gauge and uh, yeah, those those uh, d those less um, yeah those less exotic stone fruit uh, things, green gauge and uh, uh, underripe nectarines. It smells like it's going to have uh, almost like a musky character about it, slightly perfumed. The what you get when you you bite into pear skin, that type of uh, that type of uh, flavour. Oops, dribbled there. Uh, intriguing wine. Because um, it's got this rich side, but then it's got this um, sleeker side, and it's got this herby character as well, like uh, not so much on the um, eucalypt stroke mint, a little bit of that, but almost wintergreen like something, uh, uh, one of those almost piney type of characters. But then this fruit around it is quite rich, uh, juicy, uh, more on the ooh, tin peach rather than the, uh, the, the fresh fruit. Uh, just if I've got a problem with it, it, it I'd, I'd almost like the finish to be a little bit cleaner. There is this uh, fruit cocktail syrup character come, that comes through. So it's uh, it's okay, uh, not uh, jumping up and down about it, but okay. And um, so whether it's um, Australian or Australian with a Spanish accent, uh, it's okay. See you soon.